recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. I'm gaining weight. Everybody's talking about it. Who said? We ate too much candy at the hotel in Tacoma. Yeah, yeah. Wait, oh my gosh. No, Casey, I swear to God, it's so interesting you say that because I held my tongue, but I almost said to Erica when I was talking about, oh, we need to do something in the crock pot this week. Oh, yeah. Maybe some chicken. I was about to say, but I held my tongue that I'm starting to get a gut. I have to start working out again. <laughs> I swear I had that thought driving here. Are you really? Oh, you yeah. Fine? Are you little, gaining weight, though? Got a little gut, man. Blah, 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 blah. What's your candy of choice? <sighs> um... I was having it all. I like a little sour, and I like a little chocolate, and then I like a little sweet. So maybe like a sour Airheads, uh, those sour cut-up ones, Airhead Bites. Yum. Yep. Ooh. Tasty, tasty. And then a little bit of chocolate. What's a go-to? Score bar. Ooh, yeah. It's a toffee. That's a good one. I love toffee. Yeah, the green rooms and the, the green room in the last, but they have all this candy Erica and yeah, I have I had the five Snickers bar night and uh, <laughs> is this your requested full size Snicker bar? Yeah, crazy. Um, is no, this your rider just, or are they just always no? Have? Just the these specific clubs, um, they have a pretty stocked up green room. Ooh. Yeah, they hooked it up. So yeah, some clubs. It's just every club, you know, has different owners. So some have like no food at all. And then you're hungry the whole time. Yeah, this one had a lot of food and a lot of uh, you could boil a lot of water for tea, but not a lot of bathroom. Yeah, so it was no a lot bathrooms. of peeing in the bottles. <laughs> and then I, yeah, I did it once too because I was like, oh, I don't want to leave without having peed in one bottle. I know. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of a boy's dream to get to pee in a bottle. So I used to do it a lot when I was a teenager. I'd never want to leave my room. Never in a green room. <clears throat> No, not in a green room, not yet, but I did. I Yeah, I got to do it for the first time. So I know, that was exciting. It seems like you did a good job. It seems yeah. like we all got in the... Because I had some TT coming out. Uh huh. Sometimes after it had... I had to stop a couple times because I, I filled... I, I overflowed the bottle, so I had to stop, which always hurts. Yeah. yeah so we, good food, but the drawback was, yeah, not a bathroom. <laughs> a bathroom is a big thing up there, I would generally speaking. Yeah, it was important. Yeah, we were doing the Howard Hughes milk bottles, aviator style. Yeah, with the pee in it. And the, uh, Saturday, by the end of the day, I mean, three shows at the whole trash can was pee bottles. It was wild. Damn. It was just wild stuff. Just guys being fucking guys. You also know, just sold just them after nasty. the show. And you could tell the pee bottles because there was nice uh, <laughs> water droplets all on the yeah uh, the top part of it. Mm. There was steam. There was condensation. <laughs> <laughs> from the TT, so from you the tell warmth, the, yeah, you can tell the yeah. TT bottles, natural humidifier. It yep. was really good. My skin's never looked better. Wait, so the aviator? So is that what people uh, who flew planes they had to just pee in bottles? Well, uh, that's that movie. Or is that what that was? <laughs> it's that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, and he loses his mind and he locks himself in a movie theater. Uh, oh. It's a true story, Howard Hughes, and uh, he would just pee in milk jugs, and so the whole room was filled uh, with these glass milk bottles that he had pissed in. So it was kind of just an adi- aviator type thing. Oh my gosh! Wait, does it have anything? Is it just him living in a uh, in a in a theater? Yeah, like a like a personal theater, like uh, in his mansion, because he was like one of the richest people in the world. Oh. So he like uh, had really bad uh, like some sort of like. Uh, Manic depression, schizophrenia, yeah. OCD type thing. So he he didn't want to leave this one room. So he would get them to give him milk. He would drink the milk, piss in the bottle, and then he would watch the same movie over and over again for like six months or something. What movie does it say even in the movie? <clears throat> no. That's not a big part. No, but at the end of his life, he did the same thing. He would struggled with that where he would lock himself away for like months at a time and not leave a room. And he bought a hotel in Vegas and he would watch uh, – Oh, damn. You can, a, a zebra, something with zebra. He would watch this Wesley Snipes movie over and over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so why is it called The Aviators? Is there no flying in it? 
Ice Station Zebra. That's what it was called. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He was a pilot. He was like a big uh, innovator and being he was a Hollywood guy. He had a really interesting life. It's a good movie. Oh, well, well, But well. he was really mentally ill. So, yeah, he locked himself away, pee in bottle all day and eat candy bar and milk. Much like us. I know. And then you're gaining weight. So wait. So Casey, what are you going are you going to think about a diet? Are you gonna think about Ozempic? Are you gonna think about working <laughs> out? What are you thinking here? What do you that'd be funny if you started taking Ozempic. Yeah, I gotta get on <laughs> Win Levy or something. <laughs> Wincharo. Yeah, Manjaro. <laughs> yeah. Gobi. Tretinoid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <we got. laughs> uh I don't know why. I just got some delicious factor meals in the in the mail today. They finally arrived. Oh, you got some? Yeah, I, I uh, hit up our uh, wonderful people we work with. I said, "Give me some of them factor meal." Wait, we can do that. Oh I my did. Gosh. They sent them to but me. But don't give them your PO box, or they're just going to sit there. Yeah, to, yeah. Give them our address. Okay. Yeah. Send them right to my house. So I mean, shrimp steak. What do you shit. pick? What? What do they have? I haven't opened it yet, so Fair. it's just sitting in my living room on ice. Oh, right. Ooh, what? the uh, Dry ice? Yeah, dry ice, hopefully. <laughs> or else it's going to start leaking. What it's is that? Of... Do what? What is that on the left? A little sandwich? Is that Ooh, right sandwich? by your head. What is that? They send you a peanut butter sandwich? A little meatloaf, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah. It looks like a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> they send you a turkey and cheese on multigrain. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that diner, Erica? We ate at this diner on Saturday, and my clothes, I think my jeans still smell a little bit like the diner, but they gave these giant portions of the hash browns. <laughs> and they had some hash brown scramble for $40. I was like, yeah. what is this? No, what comes with that Did for y'all 40 order bucks? It? Hell no, I didn't get that. It seemed intimidating. I mean, a $40 hash brown plate, yeah. that seems like a lot. Yeah, we got $15 individual plates in the hash brown, I mean. Oh damn! Woo! Fuck it, shit! It's a it rectangle. Huge. Love it. You've never seen anything like it, I bet. <laughs> I never. Probably not. No. Pound, pound of hash brown. Yeah, pound for pound. It was a hell of a hash brown. <laughs> I didn't even eat all of it. I actually no. didn't at really like it that much. I, like I thought it really that wasn't that good. Either. I yeah. kind of thought the food was average. <laughs> it was okay. Yeah, it wasn't that good. Yeah, it was okay. And then that dude, remember that belch? We're sitting next to this table, and I just heard the loudest fucking burp I've ever heard. <laughs> and there's this guy, like, eating with his girlfriend, and he was just sitting over there kind of smiling. like Some, like, a country, looked like a country guy, and he was smiling. Yeah. Big burp breakfast. Woo. Big burp breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, Grant, what is this, a little lady? Is that a regular size hash brown? I think oh, it's a regular hash brown. Hash brown. <laughs> it's a smaller hash brown in an oh. Huh. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, I thought it was just a little lady maybe with a regular size hash brown. That'd be kind of funny. You should text them, Grant. <clears throat> Can you, Grant? Yeah, I'll, I'll get on that. <laughs> Thank you. What are you going to say? <laughs> be like, uh, can you shrink a lady? <laughs> we have an idea. We have a pitch for you. That's oh, a McDonald's. good start to every yeah. email, actually. You yeah. want your food to go longer? Shrink the lady. Can you shrink a lady? Yeah, can you shrink? <laughs> <laughs> Salutations. Can you shrink a lady? <laughs> yes, and what else, Grin? Anything? Uh... You want more of my email to them? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, I, I represent the William Montgomery Show. And we are interested in a cross promotion deal with you for hash browns. But, cross promotion. Uh, what does that mean? Should you put something in parentheses so they know what that? So they know what that. Well, means? I think they would benefit from having your image on their branding as well. So, it's well, you need to probably sp- explain what cross promotion is to them because they might not know what cross yeah. promotion means. So you might want to put parentheses after that <laughs> yeah. and parentheses. explain it. How that's would you true. explain yeah. it exactly? We Grant? work together, maybe. Yeah, that's that's a good point. I guess that might throw them a little bit. Because what is cross promotion? How would you even define that? Little for me, little for you. Oh. That sounds like you're asking for some sort of favor. Mm. Yeah. Is that how we really want to come across? I, I think it's mutually beneficial, though. So, okay. no, I, I, I think it'd be good. Maybe mm, let's try it. You guys aren't feeling it. Huh? Yeah, you a need to change different. it a little. <laughs> okay. Let's try uh, <clears throat> something just off the top of my head. Have you ever seen one of those little fish that rides on the back of a whale? 
<laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Yeah. <laughs> Not question mark. Mark. Yeah, just <laughs> not question mark. <laughs> Period. <laughs> and then you go, I know I have. I have hundreds of books. Hi, I'm Grant. <laughs> 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 if you've ever thought about having a small lady like I have, then you think that you should do it too. Well, I'm here to tell you that I also do that. Thinking. And, <laughs> and if you wanted to think too, I would like to both of us for having it. Casey used to work in an office. I, I love work. it. Yeah, he used to be a copywriter. It's That's like you have a so cheat code that. for this. Yeah. 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 He's written many an email. <laughs> I've, sent, I've sent dozens. <laughs> He's good at it. I've sent dozens. Yeah. He has a bad back because of it. I do. I have a herniated <laughs> spine. So many emails. <laughs> so many emails. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Oh my gosh, and Darius, what's up? We're talking hash browns. Yeah, we're talking hash browns. Yeah. Here, sir, come over here. All right. Darius, thank you so much for uh, for being on the show, good thank f- you my good friend. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, oh my gosh. Welcome. Yeah. yeah. What's happening? What's Welcome up? What's back. up? Welcome back. Welcome back. There he is. Oh, yeah. Woo! There he is. What's up, man? What's happening? Nice jersey. Thank you. I know. You're a Detroit, uh, Detroit guy. Yeah, look yes. at the back. This is why I wear it. Oh, Montgomery, baby. Montgomery. Yeah, one of the best backs in the league. Perfect. I know. He's pretty good, isn't it? I really don't know. I need to learn more if I wear the jersey because yeah. I feel like I'm a total. I'm kind of – I'm not even really an NFL fan. I have nothing against it. But. Mm-hmm. No, he's good, bro. That's a good jersey to have. So you, you made the right decision. Cool. Thank you. Well, we are, Darius, we are trying to figure out, we're trying to do a cross promotion with McDonald's. We're trying to, Grant is the, he's our, he's our man inside back there. And he's, he's emailing McDonald's about a cross promotion thing. What do you think, how should Grant, how are we going to get this deal? How should Grant email McDonald's? What should the wording be? Uh, Regular size hash browns. Yeah, we're just trying to like get the show to like be sponsored by McDonald's and Grant. He's having a real hell of a time coming up with a freaking email. It's just yeah, we got to get our point across. Is it that's what you have right now so far? Just regular size. Hash <laughs> yes. <browns>? Yeah. <laughs> which well, I don't know if that don't, works. <laughs> yeah, I kind of just that's the same thing they already do. So, but but we're trying to do something where it works a little bit for everybody. So we get a really big hash brown. And then also there's something at McDonald's named after William. Yes. Mm-hmm. And maybe a small lady because it's like if that is a regular size hash brown, that would have to be a very it's, small woman. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You should probably shrink the word regular. <laughs> uh, and the size is still be capitalized. And the woman, I don't know, should have red hair or something like that. Let's give her red hair. Yeah. Grant, oh, more freckles. Oh, yes. More yes. freckles. She yeah. look like Wendy. Oh my oh, gosh! Yeah. That's yeah. competition right there. <laughs> to get yeah, the gears tails. <laughs> oh, it could be windy size hash brown. <laughs> I don't think that's ever been done before at a fast food place, uh-uh. like a Burger King size taco <laughs> from Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> like, what does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. Bur- <laughs> what's a, what's another redhead name? Is we can't use Wendy. Oof. Um, Eliza. <laughs> yeah, you're about to expose redheaded people, right? Je- Jessica red- Rabbit <laughs> size hash browns. Orphan Annie. <laughs> yeah, little Annie. orphan Annie size hash brown. Just yeah. a little hash brown. <laughs> Grant, so that could be something, yeah. maybe. It's just a bite for most people. And see, Grant, he's is getting yeah. better. Okay. Okay. The, okay. Yeah. See, that looks you're starting to look good. like Ronald. Starting to look like a clown a little bit. <laughs> Redhead side, uh, yeah. Guy remember the the freaking I talked about a little last week but the fraternity I was in I remember the fir- when we were pledging the first uh Halloween you either dressed up as a prostitute unless if they gave you some specific Halloween costume and I had to dress up like Ronald McDonald and one of the brothers 
was scared of clowns, so I was having to fucking follow his ass around. He was acting like he was going to beat the shit out of me the whole time. It was a very stressful Halloween. <laughs> He's stressful. Damn. And there's some dude named Gentry. He was like this giant muscly guy, and he he had to he was painted all green to be the Hulk, and he passed out at the bottom of the stairwell, and there were green smudges on the ground for like months afterward, <laughs> from where his ass just passed out. Damn. Do you do you got pictures of that so you can relive those memories? I wish there is a picture. There is a picture. Uh, of me as Ronald with my sweet friend William Alsabrook who dressed up as Toadstool because he was this very, <laughs> very petite little guy who's a good wrestler, I guess, but they made his ass be fucking Toadstool. So this is when you were like pledging? <laughs> yeah, the first because okay. that was from like August to December. So yeah, first <laughs> fuck it. I remember getting wasted. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I was getting wasted a lot back then. It wasn't good. <laughs> Damn, so it was four months to pledge? Four fucking months. Yeah. God damn, that's nuts. Yeah, it was the first we had to we had to do these things on Saturdays called call downs, and we would go clean up the house before a home game. And I remember the first fucking uh, time we had to wait, like meet up at seven by the track and field by the fraternity houses, and it's like these two coked out dudes without shirts on, just screaming at us. And I'm thinking, <laughs> whoa, what am I about to walk into? And they literally, I guess there's a, a sand volleyball court, and they transported who knows how much sand into the house, and there was like inches of sand throughout the entire house we had to clean up and they're oh, fucking hitting what? us fucking doing insane and i'm like what have i fucking signed up for i was looking for this first home football game yeah. i was thinking it was going to be fun to go to a football game <laughs> 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 not get horribly literally tortured by people <laughs> oh my god what if they made you go to the football game as the prostitute uh, yeah, that would have the people had to do weird stuff like that. But yeah, I can't. I remember coming down after that in a t shirt, and they were like, What are you doing in a t shirt? T shirts like, are for members. Yeah, I wasn't allowed to wear a t shirt. I had to fucking go back up and be change. naked. Yeah, get naked. Yeah, it was a fucking, I hated that. Dang. <laughs> Did you make it? Damn right I made it, dude. Good job. <laughs> he made it. Here, let's see if I could still, I'm, I won't. Sunday evening, March 1st, 1868, University of Virginia for the establishment of brotherhood on a firmer, more lasting basis for the promotion of brotherly love and kind feeling. We have established a form of fraternity res resolving that thus we can most successfully accomplish our object. Robertson Howard, Julian Edward Wood, James Benjamin Sclotter Jr., Frederick Southgate Taylor, William Alexander. I said that 5,000 times <laughs> during the fucking day. <laughs> you repeat that shit. And I still messed it up a little there. <laughs> I kind of forget it now. <laughs> Whatever. It was 20 years ago. That's crazy. Yeah, 20 fucking years ago. Would you have? Did you do anything like that? Would you have ever done anything like that? Uh, I did not. I wanted to. I didn't go to a four-year university. I was too busy partying. I was uh, mm -hmm. I went to a community college for six years and I was going to transfer, <laughs> but I stayed too long. <laughs> I dated I dated a chick who was at a four year. I'm like, oh, these parties are cool. So in my mind, I was I was at the college. I, I went yeah. there. for sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I wanted to pledge, but I, I didn't go to it. Yeah. What, yeah, what yeah. college was it? Uh, the Oakland Community College, the one that I attended. Yeah, but what? What she go? Where did she go? Oh, she went to Wayne State University. Wayne State. That's a. It's a real. It's a good school, especially for doctors and shit. But Where's that? Michigan. Yeah, Detroit, Michigan. Okay, Detroit. Yeah, their fraternity was cool. I forget the name of their fraternity. It it was a white one, uh, but we went to their parties, and it was beer cans all over the place. And I was like, Yo, I'm helping y'all clean up. And they're like, You don't have to worry about that, man. I'm like, No, no, I'm gonna help you clean up. I got like 300 beer cans, <laughs> and I put them in my trunk, and uh, each can was like 10 cents. So I took oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> you were getting the money. Uh, yeah, I took them back to Kroger. <laughs> Recycled them bad babies. <laughs> oh, sorry. Grant hates stories like that. Yeah, sorry. Oh, my bad. <laughs> he hates recycling. <laughs> yes. yes. Can't stand that shit. Yeah, I don't like it either unless money is involved. <laughs> so you've got a huge head. You've been made fun for it like your whole life. But having a giant head is actually cool. <laughs> it's the only way. Honestly, having a giant head is a prerequisite to wearing mammoth hats. They're just for dudes with big heads. They, <laughs> they start 
at seven and three quarter inches wide. You can check it with your fingers, your little yes. knuckle here. <laughs> and that would be what? Probably seven. If you're doing the knuckle measurement, probably, yeah, six or seven. It'd be four hand lengths from chin to chin. Okay. So you start, <laughs> they start at seven and three quarters and they only go up from there. If you got a little tiny head, you can't be in the club. Yeah, you're, not, you're <laughs> out of this club. If you got a little pinhead, which honestly is, is what people, us people with big heads call people with little heads, and as I swear it's not mean. But if you look at this, a pin, a pin has a little little head, so we like to call people pinheads. But yeah, if you're one of them, don't even get on their website. Mm-mm. We'll block you. Yeah, f- yes, and they will too. And they've got gigantic <laughs> snapbacks, trucker hats, beanies, and even sunglasses. Finally, a brand that gets you. We see you for you, and Mammoth sees you the same way that we do. They even have awesome t-shirts, stickers, long sleeve tees, and a cozy hoodie if you're ready to branch out from headwear and support the brand even more. And, I mean, look at their website. Their, the reviews are raving. This is the real deal. If you got a big old head, this is the real deal. But you have to have a pretty good size head. If you're getting on the big head train and they check your ticket, last stop has got to be Mammoth Headwear. Yes. Don't get off on one of the early stops. That's where pinheads get off. Get off on Mammoth Headwear stop, the last one on the left. Head to mammothheadwear.com and use code WMS for 15% off and free shipping on U.S. orders. So that's mammothheadwear.com, code WMS, or click the link in our show notes. Give that giant head of yours the gift of Mammoth Headwear. Oh, man. Yeah, Grant, he loves landfills. We were <laughs> talking about that last week. Was he sweet to you when you came in? Because he can be weird. Generally he was cool, man. He, he was like, cool. oh, hey, wave at me and put my phone on the charger. <laughs> he was like, thank you for being late. Oh. God, he didn't say that damn shit. Right. <laughs> Ooh. He didn't even say that. I said that. He's passive aggressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's super passive aggressive. I feel like all white people are. <laughs> Ooh, I can be, yeah, I can be real passive aggressive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that shit dangerous, man. You got to be aggressive. Yeah, like I'll see the neighbor, <laughs> the bad neighbor underneath us, like walking out to the car, and I'll tap on the window ever so lightly so she kind of looks around, and then I'll hide real quick. <laughs> I think that's just a prank. That's just, oh, okay, that's just okay. Like, yeah, is that that's passive just a little, That's just a little prank. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like ding-dong ditching, kind of. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Hey, Grant, if you're writing in an email, passive-aggressive, and you had to put in parentheses, how would you explain that? If I had to put, if I had to, if you said, if you were like doing the pitch or whatever, and you ended up putting the word just passive aggressive, and you thought McDonald's didn't know what it meant, how would you explain it in the parentheses? Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess um, implying something without uh, outwardly saying it, a bit aggressively. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm using the word aggressive Not there. Quite. Not quite. Does that sound right, Darius? Don't make me write copy. <laughs> Not quite. Uh, I don't know how to be passive aggressive. Have you ever been? It's a gift. I don't know. Yeah, that does sound like a gift. Yeah. <laughs> it's a white way of living. <laughs> you I, all are very good at it. Yeah. I know. I wonder what that stems from. I wonder what the root cause of that is. I don't know. Is is yeah. sweetie is sweetie a passive aggressive word? Thank you, sweetie. It's- Sometimes mm-hmm. if they use it in a certain way. Mm-hmm. Your buddy. Sweetie. Mm-hmm. Hey, buddy. I hate what people yeah, call I, me buddy. Me Dear too. God, it makes me sad. Me mm-hmm. too. It bothers me for some reason. <laughs> what would you totally rather? Agree. Would you rather than be like, fuck off? Uh, Yeah. Or call me Playboy. Playboy's cool. <laughs> yeah. Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Playboy's also a little like you're like the kid brother kind of thing. But buddy. Someone called me buddy at Mothership last night. Maybe really sad. Oh, great job, buddy. I'm not a buddy. I'm a grown mm-hmm. man. I'm a big yeah. man. <laughs> well, he's, like, he's like little bro in you. Like, I'm big yeah. bro. But it was funny, though. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Like, Come on, man. What's kind yeah. of funny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too, I feel like passive aggressiveness is too confusing. You don't know if they're insulting you or if it's <laughs> yeah. compliment. Like, be direct with what you're saying to me, please. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. 
for sure. I agree. <laughs> I mean, I was horrified when you were late today, and I just thought I was like, "How can I play this off?" Thank I mean, you I'm for horrified. being honest, bro. Yeah, I mean, I it, I, I was horrified. Too. Grant's already pissed at us. We're already <laughs> running the light in here, so to speak, every week. And Grant's yeah. been real passive aggressive. He's like, "Yeah, you know, we're gonna have to start charging you more, right?" I mean, he starts mm-hmm. saying all this. It's really I don't even know what to think about it. So, damn, I was door dashing. My bad. You know, and you direct, you tell them where you want to door dash at, but then they'll have you go all the way to butt fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even know. I'm like, man, I'm picking up some McDonald's from over here. Why did I? Is that what somebody got? 38. It was Wingstop. Wingstop? Yeah. I only said McDonald's because you're trying to get them to. I know. Yeah, we're trying to. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to ask if we it was hash Wingstop brown. Wingstop too. Yeah. yeah, would that be fine? I had McDonald's yeah. before this. They brought back the spicy nugget. How was it? It was good. A little dry, but not too dry for a guy like me. <laughs> um, of course, not too dry. And, uh, but it was pretty good. What kind of sauce? Do you dip it in a sauce? Sweet and sour. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sweet, sour, spicy. Mm. Yum. Thanks, mm. bro. So tasty. How, Darius, we were talking about it before you got here, how Casey said he's maybe gaining a little weight. I think I'm gaining a little weight. It's happening, we're thinking, at least recently, the gre- a lot of snacking in these green rooms. Mm-hmm. Do you do you, do you you pick out in a fucking green room, or are you okay? Uh, lately, I have been eating a lot of candy. Mm-hmm. So if there's candy in the, the green room, I'm stealing it all. Uh, because I'm not drinking no more. So you, when you stop drinking, yeah. you, you crave those sugars and oh, sweets. Yeah. Yeah. So, Wait, how long has it been since you haven't been drinking? Drink, uh, January 2nd. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, so yeah, yeah you still probably got a motherfucking oh, sweet man. tooth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> man, whatever's in there, the fruit roll-ups, the, 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 um, what, what, uh, the Sour Patch Kids. Mm. Yeah, those are good. Gush. Man, I'm, I'm still in them. Ooh, yeah. and the Gushers. Gush. That, that shit will stick to you, bro. Oh, I know. Because yeah. comedians are, we're not really active people. We just sit around. <laughs> well, no, I'm pretty active. I think Erica can corroborate that fact. I'm really active. Are right? you? The most active I've ever seen a comedian. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I was, Casey is the most active comedian I've ever seen in life. That's when he burns all his cameras. <laughs> on TV, yes. in person, this motherfucker <laughs> be moving. He don't stop moving. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm really high strung. Like when I'm at the club, Oh, yeah, I'm always moving. I, n- I never really sit down too Ants much. Ants in his pants. Ants in his <laughs> dinky little pants, exactly. <laughs> and, he, and he got <laughs> he got knees like a fucking, I don't know. It's wearing on me. My back is all messed up. It's wearing on me. It's My days are numbered. I got to put out a good a good special where I'm being really fast the whole time, and then I got to make Then you can slow change. down. I got to yeah, slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to slow down. Would you ever do stem cells? If you guys would. Yeah. I'd be open to it for sure. Maybe I could do something with my sciatic nerve because yeah, I've just been sitting on the couch. I was thinking, oh, Erica's going to corroborate. I've been real active, but I was just picturing myself he said, sitting on the couch, knocking at the neighbor on the window when she walks out and fucking <laughs> moving. Their dumb ass has He no said he idea. was constipated for sitting for four hours in the plane. And I'm like, but you sit for eight hours playing video games. He's it's like, different. yeah, it's just sitting for four hours. Yeah, that's different. And I was like, but you Thank sit you. for eight hours with your video game. Oh, yeah, I guess it's kind of different because your mind is on the video game. Busy. Oh, it's but if different. If you're just sitting, you're just like, man, I've been sitting for four hours. Yeah, my back's starting to hurt. I my want neck hurts. Hurt. <laughs> yeah, I hate this. I was telling you, I was sat next to these little twins on the plane, <laughs> and they kept playing pranks on me, twin pranks. <laughs> on you? Yeah, so I would be trying to sleep because we had a 5 a.m., 6 a.m. flight on Sunday, and I'd be sleeping, and I would hear one of the twins go, yeah, I don't know about you, but I really like when the window's open. I would really appreciate when the window was open. I I was like, uh, like I'm trying to sleep. The other one goes, yeah, window open? Uh Uh-huh. I would like that, too. (laughs) And so I'm like, uh. I flip the fucking window open. How old are they? Maybe 12 or so. Too old to be playing pranks like that. And then. The other one goes, yeah, I'm starting to think it's a little bright. What about you? <gasps> yeah, I'd like the window down. Oh. Uh, yeah, that was awful. Was this a prank or were they, were they being passive yeah, aggressive? Maybe they're just being aggressive. little brats. Yeah, but they do that at fucking Chili's or different restaurants. Like, I don't think we have to pay. <laughs> I don't think we have to pay for this. Fan. <laughs> they just get their way all the time. Since it's two of them. I know it's a twin thing. You can't if you punish one, you have to punish the other. Yeah. Yeah. Twins are so fascinating, man. I always wanted to be one. I know, me too. Yeah. Me too. 
What, like an identical or fraternal, the kind that looks just like you? Uh, yeah, identical. Fraternal uh, is just like, man, whatever. It's just yeah, you get to trick people sibling. more. Yeah, I wanted triplets. Look at that, twins. And yeah, that would be interesting. Everyone's laughing. Built-in best friend. I know, what is, hold on, what is that picture? Yeah, somebody's doing something funny or, <laughs> yeah, the guy in the back is pointing. He's cracking a, yeah. boot, cracking a boot. <laughs> I think they drunk on the plane. Cracking a boot. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, these guys aren't actually twins, but they sat next to each other and look identical. They're, they were separated right. at birth. All right, so that's kind of funny. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. We like that. It's like the twins who were separated from birth. Did y'all see they, that uh, the triplets? documentary, The Triplets? Identical they, strangers. But what? They all end up being totally different because what? Nature versus nurture. But also, they're so alike. But were they, I, honestly, as I was bringing it up, I'm thinking, I don't know shit about it. I don't remember shit about that. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't like, remember what happened. Uh. <laughs> well, but, three identical tr strangers, is that what you're talking about? Is that what it's called? Maybe. It's but the one who kills himself? Oh, I didn't know I haven't seen any spoiled. Ooh, is it, yeah, it doesn't matter. They don't know each other. <laughs> yeah, it's only sad after they find out about each other and find oh, out about true. the dead. Is this a big thing? Brother. Is there a movie about this or something? Yeah, some yeah. documentary where what it's... Is this? Three separated birth. Oh my gosh, is that twins marrying twins? Yeah. Sacrilege. But are the cousins really siblings? They I think we have a genetic weird. siblings. And yeah, and well the kids, they already look a little different. It didn't work. I wonder if that I wondered if it would be just continue <laughs> to be twins if you haywire. get with a twin. Yeah, the dads. I don't like the dads. I don't like that smile. They don't look yeah. normal. Mm -mm. They, they look seem like, like they're from a different time super passive <laughs> passive aggressive they were probably like those pieces of shit on the plane mm -hmm. talking about doing the window up or yeah. down or whatever huh. i'm starting to think the sun's a little hot what about you <laughs> i also think the sun is hot <laughs> <laughs> 6 30 in the fucking morning <laughs> kids love playing games and i probably oh i probably would have started fucking with them too yeah play games yeah. with them see if they think differently <laughs> what would you do with them i don't know try to get them to fight to disagree. I know, because I think twins... I think can, you're wrong. I think they can end up loving each other or hating each other. Yeah, I know. It's a fine line. Mm -hmm. They're very similar emotions. Plato talked about that. For sure. And you also, Plato, and you also see it on Judge Marilyn Millie on the People's Court every now and again with his two twins suing each other. It's the nastiest of court battles on that thing if it's identical twins. That's it's good insane. entertainment right there. Ooh, do you ever watch her? It's been a minute, but yeah, she's nice. She's all on wonderful. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she has a new show, but it's sad because they don't talk after the court case, which is real sad because I always liked watching the old man interviewing them. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Yeah. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Steve Harvey got a new court show. I know, but the thing, my my potential beef with that is, is he an actual judge? That's my beef with it. That's why I don't watch the shit. Yeah, you got to be a judge. Yeah. At the very least, you have to be a judge, I think. Because he wasn't a prosecutor. He did, he wasn't a DA. Like, he didn't work yeah. his way up. Public defender. Nothing. Nothing. Judge Marilyn did. Because mm -hmm. what does it say on her new show? She was a better talker than listener. That's why she went to law school. <laughs> that's what it says? <laughs> yeah, that's what she says. She gives a little brief biography on the, new, on the new show on YouTube. She yeah, worked she, under Janet Reno. Yeah, she loved her time under Janet Reno. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the most special times of her life. Yeah, she loved that. <laughs> yeah, she's a real wise woman. Very wise. There's a very, ooh, very tragic one yesterday. This couple, they weren't really getting along. Then the dude knocks up the lady, and then she has the baby at three months. No, Damn. six months. Weed. Or six months, and then they fucking burn it. They do the... <laughs> they the, burn the baby. No, they do the... Uh, <laughs> they cremate it. Excuse me, but no. she left <laughs> him with a note and said, keep the urn. Yeah. But now she wants the urn back. What? Yeah, then she wants the urn back. No, that's something you he, give the urn away. And he's you like, I'm just gonna back. throw it in my mom's garden. Oh lord! <sighs> and it must not be many ashes. A six month old. I mean, For just eight? thinking about oh. it though, that's a small. Yeah, I feel bad joking about this. Shit. Me too. Well, pretty it's dark. Sad. <laughs> pretty dark stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is dark, dark. <laughs> Y'all want McDonald's to be over here? <laughs> she <laughs> wait. McDonald's, they like Judge Maryland. They yeah. don't care. Oh, okay. <laughs> McDonald's won't touch something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're not messing with her. They're not messing with her. She has the power. She holds the power. Oh, my gosh. Perfect timing. 
what it holding is. the power what is that a little baby urn <laughs> oh those are little oh. just tiny urns just for the smallest of bodies mm. hamsters oh yeah like if you love a little hamster or something sparrow mm-hmm. uh-huh a little just, loud sparrow oh i seen something online <laughs> where they they put you in when they cremate you your your bones are still bones and then they got to put the bones into uh, something that go into a process where they grind the bones up and then it turns into ash. It all doesn't just you get heated up and then you turn to ash. It's like your bones are still. That's what I kind of pictured. Bones. They got to fix that. That's what I pictured. Yeah. Okay, so that's not. They got to still yeah. crush them. So I feel like, you, into a, like a, you can like, accidentally mix things up too easy that way and have someone else's. Yeah, or a piece of skin wood. with their bones. Oh, that, yeah. Man. Well, the skin's going to be gone. It's just bones yeah mm, i don't want someone else's skin with my bones when i die yeah what if i get cremated and <laughs> somebody else's skin is with me <laughs> <laughs> that would not be grinding bone in a blender, grinding <laughs> bone in a blender. with a little kitty <laughs> is that a cat <laughs> oh god oh yikes some of these cats these days mm. god, some of these yeah. cats Oh, and we had a wonderful update. There was some guy on TikTok. Erica watches TikTok, and there's this guy who works at a funeral home who I thought was hilarious. He would make me laugh out loud. I thought he was hilarious, and then there was some update on it a couple months ago that was like, oh, so-and-so got in this horrible crash, and like he might die. David might die. And then they just did an update yesterday, and they're asking him what's five plus two when he's on a walk or walking through the hallway of a hospital. He's doing better. But he's doing better. He can do math. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Which I guess is good. I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure out. I was like, is that scary? They're just asking him what's five plus two, but he gives the right answer. I don't know. So <laughs> he, he lost his sense of wit? It's mm. hard to say. He's probably in a lot of pain. And we looked, and he already didn't walk well because I was thinking, man, he's walking shitty on that walker. But then we saw another video. It's this real big guy, and he just already was walking shitty. So his walking actually is the same. Uh, but. <laughs> William has a real special connection with him because he got uh, a funeral director on like what career you would be. Yeah, my high school. Uh, so when he watches test, it, yeah. yes, my test came back as funeral director. So yes, I have a sp- soft spot for. So he funeral watches directors. it and he's like, "That could have been me." Yup. You. <laughs> it could have been. You would find joy in directing. Funeral? Oh my gosh! He's I think you could funny. try to make people. Ha- you could try to be nice to people. They're in a very t- bad part in their life. Somebody yeah. just died. You could probably crack a joke or two. Yeah, I would think of bad jokes like this crowd is dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, sorry, for forgot about the guy in the casket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could be fun. Yeah, bones more like telephones. Hello, and it's his femur or something. Yeah. <laughs> something crazy. Yeah. <laughs> something cra- Hello. Uh oh. Two phone. <laughs> yeah. This kind of yeah, Patch Adams type stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or the telephone. Oh, it's Gerald, and Gerald's the guy who died or something. <laughs> He says he loves you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Don't worry. He's in heaven. (laughs) He's calling from heaven. (laughs) He's calling on his femur bone. Yeah. Yeah. The femur bone. (laughs) Did you ever... (laughs) Uh, Darius, did you ever... What were you thinking? Were you always thinking you would be a comedian or were there other times you were thinking other stuff? Uh, actor, but when I was 18, I signed up to do porn, and... Uh-oh, did you film anything? No, nah, I Damn. it was on Craigslist, and they was like, we're looking for a male actor. I said, yeah, let's do it. Oh and my what, what I gotta do? And they were like, well, we just, you're gonna sit in the chair, and we're gonna watch you masturbate, and then, um... Were they gonna record that? I don't know, Yeah, but they yeah, just yeah. said they was gonna sit there and look at me. And I said, yeah, that sounds pretty gay. I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah, sounds strange. Was this meeting person to person or still just on the Craigslist email back and forth? It was on the phone. So oh, I, the I seen phone. the ad on Craigslist and I called the number. I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to fuck. And then it was like, all right, we'll touch yourself in front of us and then we'll let you know where we want to place you. Whoa. I said, yeah, nah. <laughs> you lost me. How much money was it? Was it like, like a I don't know. Money? I didn't care. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this, this, this is about to be fun. Man. Sixty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty dollars for a round. <laughs> yeah, it was more money than I was getting as, as you know, eighteen. Yeah. For sure, for sure. 
Yeah. Well, maybe it's good that didn't work out. Maybe you would have gotten yeah, big into porn and out. wouldn't have started doing started comedy. Doing, yeah, yeah. Instead of jokes, it have been strokes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I wanted to be an actor, and then comedy just just came. Cool. Yep. Um, shit, a regular job. I I wanted to be an architect. Or uh, what do you call it? Uh, what's the person that help people out? Psychologist. Oh yeah, yeah. psychologist. Mm -hmm. An architect. What uh, did you used to be good at Legos or Lincoln Logs? Yes. Yeah, I used to love Legos and Lincoln <laughs> yeah. Logs. Yeah. I like Lincoln <laughs> How did you know? I don't know because I uh, I thought about that as well at one point, and then I was mm -hmm. like, well, I can't do math. No, I'm kidding. I never thought I I could have never done that. <laughs> but I used to love Lincoln Logs and Legos. <laughs> used to build up the Lincoln Logs and I never do heard the, of Lego. Uh, uh, what is it? Lincoln Logs. Lincoln Logs. Yeah. I've heard Legos and Connects. They were long. Yeah. Little stinky logs, and you yeah, could pieces of wood. Build a cabin, build a car with makeshift wheels. Right there. Oh, yeah. those? Yeah, I've never seen those. They before. were wonderful, and you could play with your army men inside of the bases yeah. you built and get a little maybe remote control car and smash them into the buildings. That was always a, a fun mini hot dog. There's a breach. There's a breach. The Eastern Corridor. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I used to love play. I think about that, but I think maybe I would look weird outside playing with little action figures. So I probably. Oh, it connects. Yeah, there were the connects. I was not good at connects. I could make basic looking guns. Yeah. I feel like I made a bunch of guns with connects. I was great with connects. But I never I never heard of this thing right here. Yeah, the, the Lincoln logs. logs. Oh my gosh. If you ever have children or something, get them Lincoln logs. Why the fuck would I do that when I can get them some Legos? I don't know. It's fun. It's like a nostalgia. It's like a it's I don't know. So my daughter has she has Legos, right? But she has the the big ones, obviously, because she's two. Yes. So she'll build it, and I help her build it, and then she'll just knock it over. <laughs> ah, she does she funny. laugh when she <laughs> does? Yeah, she it's hilarious. <laughs> she build it up and destroy it. How do you react? Do you act, react like shocked, or I do laugh. you laugh? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't understand. Like, why is this funny That's to you? But this is funny to me that it's funny to you. For sure, for sure. That's funny. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I didn't realize you had to get her some Lincoln logs. She might love. She might. She maybe might. When she's a little older. I don't know. Yeah, she till she'll be three in a couple months. But yeah, three is a good age for Lincoln logs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she might. See if she likes it. love them. And yeah, you can make the roof, and you could do everything. Yeah. You can make a little log cabin, little mm -hmm. scars. Yeah, they're funny. Oh shit, we like them. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> Grant, did you get them for your daughters? No, I have I have the Duplos as well. Duplo. Duplo, and then uh, the Legos now. Cool. Hmm. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> Duplos <laughs> as well. Who said anything about Duplos at the beginning? The big the big Legos. Big Duplos. Were you talking about Duplos? Derek? You said big Legos. Yeah. yeah. Oh, big okay. Legos My apologies. Duplos. I'm sorry. It's Lego sorry. brand, the big ones. We're yeah. the first to admit when we're wrong, Grant. <laughs> yeah, Grant. I made a horrible mistake right there. I genuinely am sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> okay. Apology accepted. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now we build, now we build forward. We yes. We it start our relationship from? from Memphis. Okay. Yeah, I'm not from a place where we go to the cabin, so there's no reason for me to, to get <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, I wonder if it's more it's of a southern thing or something. I don't know. It could be. I've never heard of it. <laughs> but you knew Lincoln Logs, and you're yeah. from Georgia. Yeah. That's southern, too. It's mm -hmm. a, I know. It could yeah, be a southern is. thing. Because, Erica, had you heard of them? Southern California, yeah. Oh, Southern California. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that makes sense yes. then. Did you ever go up north, like, for vacation? Yosemite, the middle of California. They got cabins up there? Yes. Yeah, because I went to both black and white schools, but all the white people were like, we're going up north like to the cabin. We, we, we didn't do that. For vacation, yeah. we would go down south to see our cousins. But For <laughs> sure. We ain't going up north. Yeah. Have you ever uh, Have you ever stayed in a log cabin? I have not. I wanted to. I wanted to go like to ski and you know do those things, but I haven't had the opportunity to go up there yet. I've only you seen scary, scary movies. Yeah, I know. You have to be tough. Do you get yeah. creeped out easily? <laughs> By sounds? Yes, yeah, sounds. Ghosts. What are your... G ghosts? Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't fuck with the spirits. Uh, yeah, I don't do that. I can do the sounds, and I, and I know what it is. Like if I know, It's nature. I'm well, cool with nature. Most ghosts talk, so... Yeah. What they say to you? 
go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a late night <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's a late night. <laughs> it's 1030. <laughs> no, see, like that, that right there seemed cool. I can do that during the daytime. But at night, it's like, all right. I, and it's like, what if there's some escaped prisoner or something or escaped crazy person out there? I'm crazy too, so I can I can communicate well with them. But. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Find a base, a yeah. base level. Yeah. <laughs> as long as they don't have a weapon, I'm cool. For sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's one of the more one of the more common ghouls you'd encounter around a cabin. Yeah. Yeah, there was a cabin we grew up going to down in Mississippi sometimes, and I still have dreams where I'm at that cabin. And the last dream I had, this was, I don't know, 15 years ago or something, but there's some brightly lit Christmas tree in the main room. It's some small little cabin. And I feel real scared, and people, somebody's knocking on all the doors, and then I hide behind a door in a room, and I'm scared to death, and somebody is walking towards me and they fling the door open and it's my brother and he hits my head with a hammer <gasps> and I wake up. But I love my brother. It was just a weird, and this was probably, I don't know, 15 years ago. It's just a, ooh, creeped me out. That's I don't good. know what's crazier, like that dream or how you remember that dream from 15 years ago. Stuck with it. Mm-mm. Stuck with me. That brightly colored Christmas tree in there. I had a bad <laughs> one last night. I woke up screaming last night. No! Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I woke, I don't remember what it was about, but I woke, I flailed my arm and went, no! Oh my gosh. Hey, pretty scary. Night yeah. terrors. Yeah. Scared the dog. Night terrors are back in full swing. I always Ugh. get them during the spring. Too much candy. Too much candy. Yeah, too much candy around <laughs> Easter time. <laughs> Who is that joker peeking around being scary? Yeah, Grant, what's that? She's Just uh, one of the ghosts. It's a yes. little little creepy ghost in the cabin. I mean, that's creepy. creepy. Have There's a lot of seeing the real... I've heard him, I think, but I've Ghost. never seen one. Yeah, I've heard him. Have you? <laughs> like seen some shit? <laughs> oh yeah, I've seen, I've seen things. Really? Yeah. You've literally seen. Yeah. Like what? Like like shadows moving. So I I was in the bed. This has happened many times at, at the house we used to live in growing up. And uh, my mom's room was next to mine, and then it was a bathroom. And I'm laying in the bed, and I could see something like peeking from my mom's room just like looking at me doing that doing that and then I, every night it would happen and then eventually I would get up and I would slowly walk towards it to see like get a real good look and the closer I got to it the more it just like disappeared Whoa. creepy <clears throat> yeah. 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 oh my gosh and yeah no I actually I have seen stuff I have seen this sh- I have seen stuff in my peripherals before <laughs> Did you get scared? He's trying to act like, wow, you know, he's keeping me out. He's scared. <laughs> kind of scared. Yeah. He's scared. Yeah. I get scared. So you say, like, what do you want from me? Uh, well, I saw, I had the one nightmare where I was playing a bunch of The Last of Us video game and I thought one of the zombies was in the room. And what did I say, Erica? It wasn't. He goes, hello. <laughs> hello. And I'm like, what do you see? He's like, right there. And I'm like, what is it? He's like half awake, half asleep. He goes, hello. And I'm like, what do you see? Is it in our balcony? He goes right there. And then he goes back to sleep and he's like, it's fine. It's fine. And then I was like, what happened? He's like, oh, the plants look like a zombie. I was like, so your move was to say hello. I didn't know what to do. I was so scared. He just scared. sat up and goes, hello. hello. I like, thought I would just make see? contact or something. I didn't even know what to do. I was so terrified. Right. Yeah. I was just like, hello. At least you had your, your lady because, man, imagine going through that by yourself, bro. I know. Yeah, I know. And there are times she's woken my ass up when she hears me me yelling in my dream. She knows to wake me up because I'm in a bad spot and I need to get out of it ASAP. (laughs) You're in a corner. Yeah, (laughs) get get me out of this. Please. You ever try to wake yourself up from, from the dream? And you can't? No, sometimes with the sleep paralysis thing, when I'm like starting to like go, I like wake up and I didn't move, but like I'm starting to go back to sleep, but I don't want to go back to sleep. And I like feel I'm going back to sleep and I'll start moving around. And then sometimes yeah. I can wake myself up and sometimes I get panicked because I don't want to go back to sleep. Yeah, that's happened to me <laughs> so many times, bro. But eventually I'm like, I'm going to just let it happen. Whatever happens in a dream, I, I'm going to just let it happen. Yeah, for and sure. Then I stop tripping up. Got to embrace it. Yep. Or wiggle a little finger or a little toe, one of your stinkier toes. Wiggle it, and you're <laughs> fully functional. <laughs> yeah, I was scared yeah. to go to sleep on Sunday night because we left uh, Tacoma, and I slept maybe an hour, and then I didn't sleep at all on Sunday. 
and I stayed up kind of late till 12 or one. And then I was kind of scared to go to sleep because I was like, oh, I'm getting a nightmare. I started thinking about it. I'm like, there, you're going to sleep real heavy. You're going to have a nightmare. And it was fun. <laughs> but I got my head about it. Yeah. <laughs> so but it was OK. Yeah. You just got to let it pass. Sometimes when I'll get the when I wake up and then I'm like, oh, my God, I don't want to go back to sleep. Sometimes I'll be like, OK. You can go back to sleep. We got this. Yeah, yeah. we got this. Just go back to sleep. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Judge Melian gets those things. Hard to say. Mm -hmm. She probably sleeps so soundly knowing that she's doing justice during the daytime. Honestly, yeah. Yeah. For sure, justice was served. That's what. That's my favorite kind of interview at the end when the one party says, yeah, justice was served. I wonder <laughs> if judges ever feel like they made the wrong judgment call. You couldn't admit it. Yeah, I would think there's probably there would have to be times I would think. Do they send it somebody to death or mm -hmm. something? Ugh. I don't there's more evidence. Yeah. Or they're like, damn, that was probably harsh. They didn't deserve thirty eight <laughs> years. <Yeah. laughs> I wonder how they sleep at night. I wonder if those people sleep all right at night. I don't know. Yeah. They gotta do circles around the block before they go home. Yup. She Wait, when you hear people doing that, what is that? Just kind of when you're doing blocks uh, around the home, what even is that? You're just, just trying so to relax. People are and you're following you. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, take a sudden left. Yeah. Oh yeah, isn't the trick to take four lefts, and if they're still behind you, <laughs> they're following you because you just did a circle. <laughs> That's, what I heard. That's a trick. Yeah. <laughs> the, old, the old spy trick. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that would. Oof. I don't even know. <laughs> I hate being followed like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I get Erica's buddies had an air tag one time, and I'm like, uh oh. Because some alert came up on my phone. Something's following you. And I'm like, what the fuck? She was in a massage, so she wasn't able to answer for an hour that it was her. So we were yeah. like, what is it? Yeah, I'm frantically ripping the car apart looking for the <laughs> tracking device. <laughs> it's a fucking air tag. I like being followed. I turn it, you got to turn it into a game. And you got to somehow get away from them and then start to follow them. And then you start following <laughs> yeah. them. And the whole get time they're like, where are they? And then I come behind you. <laughs> that is a good move. Yeah. Because I was about to ask Creep yeah, out the creeper? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you're all about. Yeah. Creeping, Creeping out, out the, the creepers. creepers. Yeah. Grant, pull up Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> <laughs> so scary. Yeah, did you ever see this one? I hate that Jeepers one. Creepers? Jeepers, yeah. Oh, I hate that fucking guy. <laughs> what is he, a flying thing? <laughs> Every 23 years for 23 days, he feeds. And then he goes back to his little house. He has a little house under a church where he keeps Justin Long and eats his body parts. And I love Justin Long. That's a bad deal for Justin Long. There he is, bitch ass. Creeper, creeper. Woo. So he's like a cicada, kind of, because mm -hmm. don't cicadas yeah. live yeah. underground for 20 years and come back exactly. up? Basically a cicada, yeah. <laughs> that is a scary monster, but I, yeah, I, I remember the hair now. I like the hair placement on the yeah. Isn't it just on the back of the neck? Yeah, he's got a huge like mane of hair out back. Oh, look at his little hat, his, his little, little prospector's <laughs> cap. Or whatever. Yellow cowboy hat. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Doodaloo. Yeah. What's the scariest movie you've ever seen? Uh, probably The Ring. Mm -hmm. The Ring really creeped me out when she got out the the. The TV and started doing that. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, started yeah. walking where yes. Yeah, oof. Yeah. I've been uh, working on an impression of a. Uh, well, it's something I can never do on stage because Christopher Walken is so overused. But uh, this is Christopher Walken if his daughter uh, became the girl from The Ring. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I had a daughter, fourteen years old, good girl. You would have liked her. Got stuck in a well two years ago. Every seven days. Crawls out of the TV. <laughs> She's a vengeful Japanese water spirit. <laughs> very, very scary. I don't like it, but she's my girl. What can I do? <laughs> <laughs> ring, ring. Who is it? Oh, she's crawling out of the phone. Great. <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> vengeful spirit. <laughs> That's wonderful. A little scary. Yeah. Pretty good. You should do it. Yeah, dude. I think you could do that. <laughs> Everyone does walking though. I got to figure something out. 
Everybody does it, but they don't do but it. They don't have the ring. One. Yeah, oh, not the yeah. ring. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Never heard it. So spooky. <laughs> 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 My baby girl, all grown up, covered in slime. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, honey, bro. Ugh. Oh, oh, yeah, I, I would do that. Hate slime. Me too. I remember we had some neighbors and they had some little pool in their backyard and it looked like it was filled with slime. It's a dirty pool. I don't know if it was actually, uh, I don't know, but that's my only memory of it as a little kid. And I, I'm going to, I'm going to hope and pray it was slime. It was probably just like pond scum or something. I remember thinking it was a pool full of slime. That's what happens when you snoop around your neighbors. Yeah. I shouldn't have been (laughs) snooping around back there. Were you one of those kids that jumped into the neighbor's pool? Like we never, was. there was never a neighbor with, uh, I couldn't do that other than the slime pool, but they ended up filling that in with dirt. Mm. They got rid of it? <laughs> was yeah. it in above, above ground? No, it was in the ground. They filled it up with dirt, and the, the guy ended up, he was like some guy who worked for what, what was some fast food place, and he ended up dying real early of a young of a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then yeah. their family just totally fell apart and people moved to Kentucky and other people moved to Ohio, I think. And it just really it just uh, sad to see a total destruction of a family. <laughs> All because of the pool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool if that's what the pool looked like now. But ugh, I would never. Would you ever? Did you ever? Would you, did you ever do such a thing? I would do that. But I didn't have neighbors with, with pools. No. Nah. We went to the, to the rec center to go swimming. How was that? It Pretty cost, nice. It was all right. It was cool. Cost cool. money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then like as a kid, it was really fun. But then the older you got, the more you realize like what type of water you were swimming in. And then it's just like nah, I don't want to. <laughs> For sure, people peeing in that there and stuff. I still piss in the water. So does William. So do I. We and I should. can always tell when he's doing it. <laughs> you can always uh, see what do you, it in my what face. What do you do when you pee in the pool? <laughs> I kind of, I like to bend my legs. I like to get in a comfortable stance because obviously gravity's a little less in the water. So I like to be kind of on my tippy toes, but with a bend in my knee. And then I'll <clears> do the uh, the front part out a little bit to I just, help with the stream. Because I feel like sometimes if my penis is like right up on something, it could be hard for me to start. Because it's sure. like they're just getting clogged up. I see. So I have to yeah. really, especially if it's like compression short kind of things, I really got to get it away from my penis so I can actually start the process. I just walk backwards. <laughs> oh, that's a classic yeah, move. That's a good swimming. move. Gravity yeah. will pull it out. Yeah. yeah. Pretend like I'm playing in the water or something. Yeah, you're That's swishing crazy. it around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, a, like a fart smell is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. I probably, I don't know. I don't know. I won't speak for you, Darius. I don't know if we should do it or not, but it's, I enjoy it. Everybody. Being in the pool. Yeah, and there's chlorine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That kills anything in there. There was when I was a kid. There was a period of time where me and my mom lived in a barn, in this little apartment in a barn, and there was someone next door who had a pool, but it was filled with tadpoles, kind of like that. And I would go swim around with the tadpoles. No. sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I would. That's cool. Yeah, it was cool. It wasn't. It wasn't. It was still kind of blue, but it was full of tadpoles, and I would go swim and pretend I was the frog king. That's Aww. fun. Yeah. It's because yeah. you didn't get a brain eating amoeba yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly could have happened, but. Thankfully, it didn't. Yeah, no, that sounds. Is is that a myth? Like, if you pee in the water, it turns blue, or is that a real thing? I think it has to be a myth because I've peed in a number of Mm -hmm. pools and I have never Mm -hmm. seen it. Because that's another reason why I walk backwards just so I can see if it's actually working. And I'll try my best to stop it. See if it's a color changing one. Yeah. Yeah, you'd really have to be flopping around a lot if it started changing (laughs) colors i know that is my worst nightmare to finally get exposed when i'm doing something nasty Uh and william yeah (laughs) you just go hide underwater yeah forever forever never come up yeah just 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 hide in your own piss yup (laughs) wouldn't be the first time (laughs) (laughs) what if did you pee and you just got an alligator and go hide in the corner yeah (laughs) Oh, huh? no, <laughs> I wasn't even in there. It's like when I was in pre-K and I vomited in the middle of the gymnasium and some fucking little bitch. The teachers are like, who vomited in here? And some little girl is hiding behind something and she pointed my ass out. I've never hey. forgotten that. Well, I've never that. forgotten that. That one. She mm. called my fucking ass out. I was no, just trying right. to hide. Yeah. Mm. I was embarrassed. Let the kids puke. Yeah. 
Yeah, you should be allowed to. Yeah. I got knocked out playing Red Rover when I was in pre-K. I was knocked out cold. <laughs> and they Were came. you holding or running? No, I was running, and it was my big moment. I was like, no one could break the chain. They were, they were older kids for some reason, and I was like, fucking, you know, slow motion, hit right here. <laughs> <laughs> Fully out, man. I was out for a long time, then they let me pick out of the candy jar. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of it, worth it. Did it like impress the older kids, or were they just? I wonder what they were thinking. No, I'm sure they weren't impressed that I was yeah. out cold. But yeah, yeah. I, in a perfect world, you think they'd appreciate. Wow, he went really hard on that. Like he tried really hard for sure. But I think they just thought I was a bozo or a clown of some sort. That's a bullshit. Oh. They're probably like, "Hey, buddy, get up yeah. off the ground." Hey, buddy, nice try. <laughs> Here's a fucking Twizzler. So tragic. What was your favorite uh, game like that growing up? Red. I mean, what do you have? Red Rover, Freeze Tag. Probably Freeze, freeze Tag, Hide and Go Seek. Oh, yeah, Hide and Seek. That's mm-hmm. a wonderful high classic. Tag at night. That's fun. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I miss those days. Yeah. When can I ever start playing Tag again? <laughs> Shit, I don't know. Soon. Soon? Soon. Soon. Summer's coming, William. I know. Need to get a knee brace. <laughs> why because sometimes i i'll like bend over to do something and there's a horrible pop noise in my knee and i think shit track. i really couldn't have played freaking like college basketball or something i would have gotten hurt <laughs> i'm what? kidding i was never good at basketball but how I, I, was about to ask, I do these very simple injury? things and there's like a horrible pop or and i'm like how do how do these athletes do this yeah. Damn. i don't know getting old just getting older yeah <laughs> Eating the all brand buds, those things help though. If you do, you have good fiber. Yeah, I eat oatmeal a lot. Ooh, oh nice. yeah, Classic. that's a good one. Yeah, cinnamon oatmeal every day. Cinnamon, yeah, apple cinnamon oatmeal is pretty mm, good. It's a good one. Mm, yeah. Like what are you using the packets or are you using the box of or like the whole container? <laughs> the old school. I do old school sometimes, but the packets are very convenient. Yeah. I know they're very easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oatmeal good for your heart. Yeah, mm-hmm. great heart healthy. Good alternative to some sweets. Yeah, I mean, waffle fish. crisp. Love some waffle crisp cereal, but that's like candy in a bowl. Yeah. Oh, I still I eat Fruity Pebbles. That. That's Ooh, a good yeah, one. Fruity Pebbles. Mm-hmm. Dude, French Toast Crunch. You ever had that? Oh, Those are so good. No, but I see it. I think they still make They're it. good. Yeah. I like eating it. Yeah, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I went through phases of that. I used to love that shit. Mm-hmm. Captain Crunch. That's always good. I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love Captain. The Crunch. original or like the berries? I've never had the all berries. All berries is good. The peanut butter is good. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Peanut, peanut butter, butter. puffs cereal. Love that one. The Reese's. Yeah. Yeah, it's good too. Woo. I got some Frosted Flakes in my book bag. No, you, you don't. really? <sighs> when were you gonna eat them? Emergency snacks. Just in case. Yeah, we really do. Just in case we're going to talk about it. I was just hoping, I was <coughs> praying we'd talk about it. Tony the Tiger, uh, one of the coolest dudes I've ever met, totally down to earth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two ninety nine local gas station around here. It's good for one bowl, two if you're splitting it with a friend. A little overpriced. A little overpriced, but one bowl, it's great. Kellogg's, we all know it. Know it and love it. Love Tony the Tiger. Yeah. yeah. 220 calories per pack. You eat them plain or with yeah. the milk? <laughs> I got them last night to eat with milk, and then I forgot because my girlfriend doesn't – she doesn't like it when I have sweets at night. So I, I was hiding them like some old man, <laughs> hiding, hiding them in my book bag like a freak for when she went to bed, and then I fell asleep. Damn. That's funny. <laughs> so I'll eat yeah. them today when she's gone. And it won't be, not, it won't be before bed. <laughs> <laughs> you bad. I, I, feel so, I feel so old, man. I feel like I used to be like some sort of outlaw. Now I'm like sneaky. <laughs> like, ooh, I have, a, mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a Snickers in my book bag. She yeah, doesn't funny. know about. I know. Don't tell her. She'll be legitimately upset. That's crazy how history repeats itself. As a kid, you hide your snacks and candy from like your parents, and now you're hiding it from your, mm-hmm. from your lady. Never ends. Damn. You always know. marry your mother. It's all the same. Marry your mother. Never ending math equation. Well, Darius uh, Bennett, thanks so much for uh, coming on the show today, dude. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. How can, uh, how can people find you? Uh, you can find me on the internet, uh, Mr. Darius Bennett, on my social media and uh, Facebook as well. I think I'm on Twitter. I don't really use it that much. Cool. Look YouTube. up Darius. He's hilarious. Yeah. 
Larry, do not thank. Is that yeah, your dad? Larry's, yeah, we really want to thank the mercenaries <laughs> on this episode. Uh, tweak the freak. Tweak the freak. Oh my God, Anthony Whiplash Marginson. And Danja, Danja That's Fox, our buddy from Hawaii. From Hawaii. Yeah, oh, the tree shit. climber. Well, shout oh, yeah. out. Be careful, Danja. It's very dangerous what you do. Ohana. Ooh, Destiny. Mrs. Ford, hello. Hello, hello. hello Mrs. Ford. <clears throat> Josiah, J. Dizzy. J. And then Larry. Dizzy. Um. All right, Darius. Well, it was a pleasure, my friend. Thank you. It Darius. was a pleasure. I had fun, man. Thank He's you, man. so funny. Oh, yeah. Look him up online. Darius is hilarious. That's my Darius email. is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. All righty. Well, bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of the William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.